Yes, boys, what's happening? Oh, God. You're not saying you're good, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> good, man. Lockdown. This is, <laughs> this is the weirdest situation ever. I mean, I didn't think the last time we were sat around the table, I didn't think the next time we'd have to be doing it from, uh, from the comfort <laughs> of our own homes. As much right, as I love like your house right now, I assume. Yeah, now, you know what I realised as well? When you've got the half-blind open thing that I've got going on, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Is that. Was that an artistic choice or is that random? Yeah, it's an artistic choice. Yeah. AJ, you know what, boys? Man, you lot are sitting next to each other, innit? Don't lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but it's, it's two metres apart, though, innit? Two metres apart. But you know what? It's really, you know what's really pathetic, yeah? When, like, Victoria told me that we're doing this, I'm actually quite excited because I was like, you know what? Like, I, haven't, I haven't got, like, I haven't been got changed for anything. I've been in my boxes for two, three weeks. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I actually got excited and I thought, let me tidy up the living room a little bit. You know what I mean? It's weird, bro. Uh, little that's things that's like that really. we miss. Yeah, so slyly still in your boxes, isn't it? Just a top yeah, yeah, oh no, no, bro. I, I mean, look, I mean, I'm definitely still in my boxes. Oh, one hundred percent. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But come on, we don't we don't need trousers in lockdown, bro. Who's in the lockdown? I mean, I, I, out of uh, I think out of all of us, I think Asim, you, you you've gone the furthest so far in terms of dealing with isolation. You chopped off you chopped off the ponytail. Now you know what? Yeah, man. I just I always wanted to do it. Um, cause like, cause the thing is, it was my fault. I was saying this to Ashley before, like, like 10 years ago, I was like, oh, it'd be jokes if Chibani had a ponytail in it, not knowing <laughs> that that would be my life for the next 10 years. And I've always, <laughs> I've always hated, if I had like nice, like if I had nice thick hair, yeah, like you man, have got nice thick hair, I would rock, I would rock it, but my hair's thin. So yeah. growing it was so long and I always just like, it just looked greasy and like a rat tail. But I kept it for Chibuddy in it because I thought it looked good for him. <laughs> so I chose to look butters for ten years for my art, and that's, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, man. So that's, I just fuck it. I check, just, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's what you got. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just shaved off, and I feel great, bro. I feel free. Nah, free. Good, though. Like, good, though. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. AJ, hey, how have you found? Yeah, I'm, I'm itching for a trim. It's like it's like staying inside the studio most of the time, man. No? Nah, at least in the studio, it's fun, that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been catting to go to the studio, boy. I've been catting. I've been texting my rap bridges like, yeah, what are you, what are you doing? And he's like, yeah. Like, the young guy's just telling me that like, he's writing, you get me? And I've been thinking, yeah, I'd love to get in the studio and just make something, but we're just going to have to stop out the, the bars for now. And then, you get me, when this thing's done, we could just go in there and bang out 10 albums. What, album you, what oh, about, so. like, trying to get your, like, I mean, I've been just, like, trying to get the home studio sorted as well. Like, have you been, it's probably a good yeah, investment. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I've got a home studio. But yeah, you should. Do you not get inspired? Like, do you have to be in studio, or can you can you can you work from home? Or I can I can work from home, but when I'm in studio, it's more of a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm with the man. Them obviously, the, the man them don't really come to my house like that. Um, I'm with the man. Them there's an engineer there. We could just like yeah, yeah. play rhythms out loud about annoying my neighbors and whatnot. So mm, yeah, you set a different tone, innit? Yeah, bro. For now, I think it's just a Call of Duty thing. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too dead. Yeah. I've given up already. I mean, Ash, 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 I mean, how have you found it? Because obviously, like, you know, your kind of your, your job, your main thing is, is to get out there and, and shoot life. And, I did. How have you found it? I mean, everything's come to a standstill for me, really. The closest I'm getting to taking pictures now is screenshotting people on live. So, <laughs> not really that. <laughs> it's not really that right now. But at least it gives me time to like, research and, and like, think about how I want to approach it when this is over, in it? So, like, I've got a couple of ideas of like editorials and things I want to do, but it's yeah, it's gonna take time. I guess that's the that's the thing. Everyone's just trying to find like that hobby yeah. that they're doing. I mean, does anyone have any form of structure to bed? Oh, uh, what just? I go for runs still. I go for runs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a walk, no, no. but you know, you, you got to be careful and you don't want to get nabbed by the feds if they catch you on your third <laughs> walk of the day, innit? You know what I'm saying? Because you guys will be allowed one, innit? <laughs> As, like AJ, AJ said that, you know, he can't wait to get into the studio. Ash said he can't wait to stop screenshotting people. I mean, have you had to, like, what's the main thing that you miss? Well, you know what, for me, I've realised, and I know a lot of creatives have realised this, is that this whole quarantine, this is basically what I've been doing for my whole life. Like, I've just been... <laughs> at home, in my boxes, playing FIFA. But like, I've always worked from home. I've always written from home. You know what I mean? Even doing whatever bit of music and all that. Like, in terms of writing, it's, it's been great for me because I've been able to catch up on so much writing. I've been editing. I've been doing loads of stuff. So 
I've been living this quarantine lifestyle, which is mostly in my boxes playing FIFA. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, bro, I, I really enjoyed it, man. I think, you know what, like we were saying, like AJ was saying, like, and even Ashley was like, that, you know, at the moment, like, even if you can't be inspired, there's no pressure. You know, people are like, oh, this is the time where you can do all your work and do this and plan. Like, yeah, you can do that. But also, it's the time to just fucking chill. Like, we all live hectic True. lives. Like, this is a time out for all of us. And to be honest, for me, it was much needed, man. Right right before this shit popped up, you see, okay, see me, yeah? I'm a little bit of a, uh, a kind of pandemic nut, yeah? So I've been researching this for years, right? And I've always, always thought that if the world, the biggest catastrophe the world will ever see will be a pandemic. It's no, it's not a nuclear bomb. It's not a climate change, of course, but all this stuff that people get worried about. The biggest threat to our world has always been a pandemic. And I used to always tell my friends, my girl, I used to be go, nah, listen, we got to be careful. So the minute I heard about this shit, you know, about this unknown virus and all this and that, and it's spreading and blah, blah, blah. I, I knew straight away, like, I swear to God, I was telling my friends, they were all calling me a nutcase. I was like, I bought, I bought, you know, gloves and masks. But anyway, what I'm saying is like, it's been mad. Like, and I've like, I don't, I don't even know what my point is. I've just turned into a bit of a nutcase because, <laughs> so yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, that was it. A week before we went on lockdown, I actually finished filming a new show for Channel 4. Now we mm. filmed it like in the very last week before, and then everything got locked down. But I was telling people, and you know, the most frustrating thing is like, especially with foreign parents, like trying to tell my dad he's diabetic, you know, he's in his 60s, trying to tell him to take it seriously. And he was just like, oh, it's like the gold is nothing, you know, all this and that. Or like my girl's mom, and she was like, you know, like I've lived through war in Syria, this is nothing. And it was so frustrating because I was like, this will kill you. You know what I mean? We've had other versions, isn't it? Like the bird flu and the of swine course. flu that I kind of just passed over and, and people were making dances in that. So, like, the general consensus <laughs> is, is that it's a joke thing, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's not really yeah. real. No, it is. I swear down, yeah. I noticed. I already knew London was ignorant, yeah, but London is so ignorant. I, I realise now <laughs> I'm most ignorant, honestly. Like, I'm seeing all over the world, even like New York, yeah, people staying in their house. And New York's got to be a close second to London in terms of like, um, it, you know, feeling entitled, like, you know, capital cities yeah, yeah. and all that. But Londoners, oh my days, I'm seeing people having five a side. Yesterday, I saw someone having a five a side. So, <laughs> so which, is, which is just insane. I was looking out the window of the car, like, you man are nuts, yeah. Then I've seen like picnics, people are, people, well, um, I don't even want to bait out any names, but I'm seeing famous people go, go to parties and, it's mad. It is. So no, but you mad. know what? Right now, I don't really condone snitching, but I will snitch right now. If I see <laughs> you lot out there, yeah, and if it. you lot are not social distancing, yeah, I'm calling the feds up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Corona cops. I will My snitch. I will third run. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Rob, I'll snitch. You know why? Because it's f***ed up, bro. It's, you're right, AJ. It's the entitlement, man. It's the, in a way, we, we are privileged to live in a Western democracy. But like, <laughs> at the same way, our Western democracy has made us so entitled. It's like, oh, I'm not going to stop going for my, you know, for my picnic at my pub. It's like, true. I said, it's, 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 it's true. It's the English like, way, though, isn't it? Like, we lose at yeah. football every year, but we still come back like we're invincible. <laughs> That's how we yeah. move, isn't it? But yeah. with, with what you guys are saying there, and, and you know, you're, you, you know, you're saying that you're looking out, and and you know, it sounds for the first time, it, it kind of feels like you know, everyone in this group, we're, we're all taking it seriously, we're understanding, we're, you know, how how weird is that that within a month, you know, AJ, you're looking at your car and you're seeing people playing five aside, and you're going, what are you doing? You know, how how important <laughs> do you think it is that the communities, you know, are, are coming together on this and kind of having one voice to say, look, this is what we need to be doing and, and this is the route that, we, that we're going to uh, go to stop this. And, you know, like, like that moment the other day, I, I said it, uh, you know, I've never been prouder of the country since Eric Dyer smashed in that penalty against Colombia. Um, you know, seeing, seeing us clap, clap for the NHS guys. I mean, how important do you think, you know, community is right now? Yeah, I think it's mad important. Like a lot of people are putting themselves on the line, isn't it? especially if you take like into account the NHS and things like that. There are people who are doing the essential jobs and putting themselves at risk for the, the betterment of everyone else, isn't it? So when you start thinking about that, that it is important that we kind of like, that everyone kind of has one voice and everyone kind of sticks to it because it can be ruined by the few for everyone else, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, Asif, what did you make of the the clap the other day? Because, you know, in Spain, they do it every single day. And I was saying this, like, you know, essentially right now, we're all 
playing for the same team. You know, I mean, we're all supporting the same team in terms of the NHS and, and in terms of all of the care workers, you know, not necessarily just the doctors and whatever. You know, you're kind of, you're backing everyone. I always think that a team needs a, a crowd every single day, every single match. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you know, I like that at Spain, they do it 8 p.m. every single mm -hmm. night so that those guys can go to work either that day or that evening and the next day and have something to back them. I mean, what do you reckon? Yeah. I think that I think I'll do it every day. I mean, hundred percent. And also, just I mean, just give me anything to do. You know what I mean? Right now, <laughs> <laughs> like my my voiceover agent emailed me today. She was like, "Are you available next week on Tuesday?" I was like, "Babes, I'm available until the end of time. Like all I have is time. <laughs> like I will be. You know, I'll do whatever. No, but I think yeah, hundred percent. Eight p.m. I would be up for that every day. But at the same time." I do think that, you know, I mean, I don't want us to be complacent and be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I've clapped today. Like, that's my bit done. Like, we have to be proactive. A lot of us, you know what I mean? We need to, like, help help out. If you've got money right now, you know, if you can help, then you should fucking help. Like, you should donate. You should you know, uh, mobilise. You should be active. And look at night right now how underfunded the NHS are. We are not ready for this at all. And it's fucking shocking, bro. I do specifically remember, yeah, a lot of affluent, entitled people saying, they're not happy that Grenfell survivors were rehoused in nice houses. But right now, they would love a free bed and they want 80% of their wage paid even though they're not going to work. It's just crazy. <laughs> exactly. You want something free, but when people were dying, the impoverished people were dying in a fire caused by the government directly. You didn't want them to be housed. Exactly. You didn't want them to get money. Like, and you want free money. It's just, I don't know, man. The world is crazy, honestly. The jokes thing you is... I've got, I got a question for you lot. I've got a question for you lot. How do you lot feel about it, yeah? You see, like, Mark Zuckerberg donated uh, money and Kylie, I think Kylie donated, like, a million dollars. Like, how do you not feel about that? Cause I see people saying, oh, it's just, like, less than 1% of their wage they're donating. Like, for me personally, obviously, I might, this might be just a whole different angle, yeah, but I feel like, yeah, maybe they could have donated more. They could have, mm. yeah, but the thing is, they're donating something. And, like, until you've done 100%. something, you can't really comment saying that's not enough. Does that make sense? I think, I think, people I think... complaining don't have 25 million to donate. So <laughs> you can donate all your peas and it's not touching what Mark Zuckerberg did. So you know it even if they donated, even if them 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 themselves went out and did something or you know, started some sort of movement or started awareness or done whatever they could do, then at least mm. they have a bit more of a leg to stand on saying that it's not enough, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But a lot of people are literally sitting at home doing you know, I'm not even gonna be rude, but they're not doing anything and they're complaining about someone donating twenty five million, which is a bit mad. No one needs more than 999 million. There should be no billionaires. <laughs> the fact that, no, for real, what do you need to be a billionaire for? And especially if you are. You know what it is, yeah? I, 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 listen, listen, I, I half agree with you. Yeah? Your opinion there is my mum's opinion. My mum says this to me all the time, yeah? But then my opinion is like, all right, for example, footballers, yeah? A lot of people say, like, why do footballers get so much money and nurses don't get enough, yeah? My opinion on that is nurses should be paid way more money, yeah? I completely agree with that. Footballers, on the other hand, I don't think they should be paid less just because someone else isn't getting paid enough. If there's yeah. an audience, if there's a market that people are willing to go and spend all their money, like, bro, I pay 5K a season to watch Tottenham for me and my little brother each. Like, that's my choice. I don't have yeah. to. I want to, mm. you know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like the footballers should get less because people want to pay more. It's that market value. Yeah, everything's market value. Yeah. It's all, it's all, it's yeah, all it's true. Right, if you say it's a difficult for 999 million, yeah, I'll be... Bro, what do you mean, bro? Give me my... Next number. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's it, it, so so. All of you are are you at home 24, 24 hours a day? That that's kind of like what you have to do. Have you been out? Yeah, been? man. Apart from I go, I go for my run. That's it. And I, all I do is jog the estate. I do is jog the block. Yeah. Perim our thing. What ends you in east? South. You're in south. Mm. Jogging the block. Saying that. Yeah. <laughs> saying, perimeter run, isn't it? You get it? I was looking, I was looking. <laughs> uh, it's it's really strange. So like when when they were like listing out the key workers, like obviously everyone got got kind of sent like a letter, and and then when I you know they told me that that broadcast is um, part of the key workers, so yeah. we're still having to go in. So so it's like there's ninety nine percent of my office is is not there, and then it's just me. Uh, in full gloves uh, with a with a producer who's two meters away from me that's, and, strange, and, that's very strange and and going doing the show and it's weird man it is so strange but do you know what it's so odd because in terms of you know entertainment and in terms of our job you know it seems so tiny and it seems so on the periphery but like you know 
it is quite it's quite nice because you know i mean aj how many people are, are now streaming your tracks just because they're they're in at home asim how much time has this given you to be able to to write you know amazing scripts for people to to laugh at and and ash how many how many times has this given you the opportunities for for a people to just scroll through your catalog go and see it and also give you the next idea so i think entertainment does kind of have a part to play in this i mean what's yeah. What's kind of like the, the best thing? I mean, what have you made of Asim? What have you made of seeing like, you know, TV shows all of a sudden becoming webcam shows? Yeah, I think, I think it's, you know, I think in a time like this, it's like it forces people to be creative, isn't it? Like yeah, when, it, when you're back to push, you know, when you're pushed against the wall, um, is that the saying? Back to pushed against the wall, is that the saying? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, that sounded kind of weird. Um, uh, yeah, bro, I mean, it forces you like that. I always thought, I always had more fun creating stuff when I was broke. Uh, I, generally, I had more fun when I was broke like in life generally because you don't have the privilege and you know you don't have the time you've got to just do shit. you've got to make you've got to be you know creative you've got to be practical you've got to be all you know all that shit. so i, I think it's been great message and, yeah message <laughs> and also i think for, for my advice to people on lockdown is that you know try and like try and do something that you could like i, I don't know like you know like if you want to invest right now in yourself and in your home do it like I was saying, I'm, mm. I'm going to buy more equipment. I'm going to do more stuff. Like because I think you're also you're you're saving so much money right now. Obviously, we're not making money as much, but you're saving so much money. I was just thinking about one of my biggest expenses is my is my Uber and transport and all that. And none of that, you know what I mean? And eating out, bro. Like I've got rice. I'm making dal. Like I'm I'm saving so much money. I'm living that apocalyptic life. And I'm thinking, if you've got all that money, also donate, help help you know help where you can also invest in yourself man buy some equipment do what you need to do like but also not just work related treat yourself as well like I, i've said this yeah well. it'd be a pressure of oh you've got to do work like my girl the other day she was like i want to buy these you know she's got a new job a few months ago and she goes i want to buy this necklace and i was like i can get you know i was, I was like well i can get that for you if you want a present she's like no no i want to buy i was like maybe you should save your money and she was like no it makes me happy it's good for my mental health and i i'm all for that like if you can afford it buy shit to make you happy because it's dark times right now and people mm. are depressed and you can, it's a very thin line of people just going over now, falling into that dark, you know, that dark place. So anything that you can do to make yourself happy, I can say do that shit. Yeah, 100%. I mean, like, this is how bad it's gotten. It's like, I think that in terms of food, Asim, because there is no, like, kind of like, you know, the, kind of, we're starting to make food from home. I think the amount of weird food concussions I've been coming up with, I can basically put crisps in anything now. <laughs> I, I don't know about you. I mean, what have you guys been eating? Because I can't stop. I've been working work in here, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, Nando I've been sauce on everything. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right, I, I can't stop. I find myself, I think the best tip in terms of food wise is I, I've, I've started to figure out if I can sit down every time when I actually eat, I'll be all right. Because yeah. I think the danger is standing up and eating. The amount of times yeah. I'm thinking about literally, I'm getting a tan from the light inside my fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hovering near the fridge for time. <laughs> just being like, mm. Yeah. No, uh, I think, you know what, uh, weird enough, I think I've been eating better actually, because I, I used to just get deliveries and eat out. Yeah, same and thing. Same. Mm, I eat better, but I eat more often, Carl. What's there to do? That's the only yeah, thing, I, I, too. You know what, yeah, I've been on the um, jerk wings, get me a little, a little salad, a little, a little fragrant salad and a, and a white rice, man, that's me. Has anyone got, got, a, a, mutual, you've got a mutual spot you can leave the wings in where Ben can just collect? Yeah, of course, bro. On, on a little <laughs> island in the kitchen, I put the wings on a, on a, on a pan, on a tray, and we just we go back for more, you get me? Glad that, bring me in. <laughs> I'll send it in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm just heavily, heavily, heavily missing the football. Though I don't know yeah. how many reruns of old matches I can, I can. You know, see. I'm not missing. I'm not. I'm not missing watching Spurs lose when they should really be winning, and then watching Liverpool <laughs> trounce everyone. I'm not really missing that. But <laughs> I am going to be. Extremely, yeah, I don't care that. if anyone in the comments calls me a pagan. I'm going to be extremely happy if the season gets restarted and Liverpool don't win anything. I'm going to be over the moon. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. And then the cherry on top, the cherry on top, yeah, is where my boy Delhi bangs in a rippers against Liverpool next season and we start smoking everyone and then it's, just, it's over. It's long. 
for everyone. <laughs> yeah, but I think, I, think, I think the Spurs fans have been the most depressed because of what happened with, uh, with Harry Kane the other day. Did you see Jamie Redknapp chatting yeah, to Yeah, I see, I see. What did you make of that? Wait... I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I don't really comment on um, on anything Spurs does outside of football. I have like a, uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the black tape, like just written up, so you can't say nothing. No, 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 no. You know what it is, yeah. If any anything I have to say about Spurs is always gonna be positive. So I don't want to give you a, a fake opinion and just say like everything <laughs> happening about Spurs forever. So I'll probably prefer to not comment on anything that might not be a positive opinion. But the non comment speaks louder than an actual comment, AJ. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, uh, Ash, Ash what, what would you say is the funniest thing that you've seen during, uh, during this whole thing? Because, I mean, the internet has become a beautiful place. And, I mean, you are scanning the internet looking for the best pictures, best videos. You know what? It's definitely Tory Lanez's Insta Live. <laughs> Tory Lanez's Insta Live is the best figure of the internet right now. Quarantine <laughs> radio. I'm here for it still. Yeah. <laughs> so he was he was doing he was doing a twerk competition, right? Yeah, he does a twerk competition, interview celebs and that. Anyone from Taylor Swift to, to Trick. <laughs> yeah, young <laughs> fog on there yesterday is actually hilarious. Hold on, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, fog on there was mad funny. Thank you so good. I still I still think I still think my favorite thing throughout this whole if anything survives, is just the fact that Cheryl Cole believed that an entire Italian city was singing Fight for This Love. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> My favourite thing, the fact that she posted it and she did a little crying emoji and everyone, like, the tweets were so good. They were like, please, God, give me the strength and the confidence that Cheryl Cole has during this Oh, time. my God. <laughs> you, know, you know what, though, Roman, I think one thing that this has taught me is that in a way, none of us, like celebrities in general, I mean, celebrities, whatever you want to call it, like really, we don't matter, like no one gives a f And like, there's so much bullshit out there. Actually, you know I mean? Just generally not taking a dig at celebrities, yeah. but like generally a lot of things don't matter in life. Like you break it down to a few simple things, which is like health, family, and like food. Like it's That's so awesome. simple. Nando's, <laughs> yeah, but for real, you know what I mean? Like, it's, so, it's such a simple little thing, few little things that you need to make you happy. And it just goes to show you, man, it puts you into perspective. Like, a lot of this shit doesn't matter, man. Well, it's, it's I weird. Isn't it? I think it mattered to that little girl that was crying that Nando's was closed. It mattered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was <sick. laughs> I was crying that Nando's was closed. My little boy, yeah. oh, that's it. Just before the lockdown, yeah, I was in there eating and there was like no one in there. And then one of the workers was like to me, You're brave, you know? No one, no one's in there, you know? And I'm like, oh, I looked around. Like, <laughs> around there, and I was like, oh, like, you know what in there? And then I'm trying to come back like, a couple of days later and it was locked up. And then I seen them tweeting, like, oh. yeah, no more Nando's. I was sad still. Oh, AJ, if we're missing Nando's, all you boys, I reckon we should try and recreate now. Because I've got all the shit. Like, I've got yeah. all the Perry Soul, Perry, Perry Nate. I'm going to recreate Nando's and make it sit, bro. I'm going to try and do everything at the table. Yeah, you, do, you reckon you could do it proper, though? Like, make the plate look Yeah. Proper? I'll try, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sick cook. I don't do it that much, but this is actually this has made me flex my kind of cooking. I've been cooking you need, like a chef. The, the chips are the chips are McCain chips, isn't it? Are they McCain? Like, you know I've got I've got, got Perry soup. I've yeah, got Perry soup. Yeah, I've got Perry soup. I've got all of that. I've got the marinade. I've got the <laughs> Bro, we, we, we ran out of Perry Nays yesterday and I made some. I got some normal mayonnaise, Perry salt, a little bit of Vusa, Perry, a little vinegar, whisk that shit up. Yeah, it was all right. It was a bit I used more to spicier, do that back in the days, but... in the Brook days. Yeah. I used to do that yeah, in the Brook yeah. days in the store. Like, like can yeah. I get a meal? Can I get... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like yeah. that. Like, no, but I think, I think, did you see yesterday, they were doing, uh, they were doing a cabinet meeting on, uh, uh, for, for, the Prime Minister and every single person within the cabinet. And Boris Johnson tweeted it. And he's literally, he's put the meeting ID, like the Zoom meeting ID. <laughs> nah. <on the> <laughs> Apparently, like, lots of people are like, trying to join it. Because like, <laughs> oh, he hasn't got a house party, this, innit? This guy, bro. This <laughs> yeah, guy house party. party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boris and house parties. <laughs> but, but house parties, man, I saw... Um, who was it? Sook Knight, you know the producer Sook Knight, and yeah, he was yeah, uh, yeah. he was he was on his house party. I saw him tweeting, and he and then um, I think it was uh, you know P Money's boy Blacks, is it Blacks? Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah, yeah. And he was like, he just jumped into his chat, and he was chatting to his mum or something. <laughs> he, just jumped, <laughs> he just jumped into the room. Imagine Blacks just showing up. <laughs> and your mom chases <laughs> it. 
That's funny, man. That's funny. It's a weird app, that house party, isn't it? It kind of freaks yeah. me out. Hey, you won't catch me on there, boy. Trust me. You know what I find very, very interesting is that when I started chatting about China and all this match, my laptop shut off. What's happening, boys? Yeah, yeah. Man knows, <laughs> man knows, man knows that shit. Illuminati. Don't keep happening to me. Every time you spoke about that, yeah, the little uh, Banda Snatch logo came up on the screen for me. <laughs> <laughs> mad, mad. All right, so lads, it's time for the Booth Trees card game. Now, last yeah. time we played this, I ended up sending a text to Justin Bieber asking him to walk my dog. Um, say to say, I mean, say since it. quarantine, you're not allowed to ask me about my DMs anymore. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right now, desperate that you're looking at that post quarantine boom boom. You're we're planning oh ahead, God. we're planning <laughs> six months ahead. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, so um, it's a little bit different. So, I've got here for this version, uh, Bruce Juice. 31 number of questions uh, or challenges. Each panelist picks a number and then you read them the corresponding question or challenge. When it's your turn, another panelist will need to pick on your behalf. Okay, so someone has to pick on my behalf. Uh, if a number gets repeated, uh, feel free to pick again or just select another uh, number. Okay, um, and are we ready for this? So, so who wants to go first? Asim, do you want to go first? Do you want to pick a yeah, number yeah, sure. between 1 and 31? Uh, 23. 23, the big dog number. Oh, okay. So this is, uh, this is a quick fire round. Okay. So yep. I'm going to reel off um, some would you rathers and then you just got to go through them already. <laughs> Here we go. Rice or chips? Chips. Avo on toast or fry up? Avo on toast. FIFA or Fortnite? FIFA. Oscar or Grammy? Oscar. H or AJ? AJ. Staring out the window or pairing socks? Uh, staring out the window. Chabsy's rat tail or Shaolin Asim? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, I've got to say Shaolin Asim for now, man. You know what I mean? Slap <laughs> egghead, egghead, egghead gang. <laughs> very good, very good. Ashley, do you want to go next? Yeah, come, let's do it. Between, between one, between 20, uh, one and 31. Seven. Seven. Okay, we're going to seven... Wow. <laughs> the DM question, isn't it? <laughs> you can now see it. <laughs> landing on AJ. It says, spit a bar about the lockdown. So, uh, that's your oh, that's AJ. Spit a bar about the lockdown. Go on, Ashley. Well, to freestyle on that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, everything lock off. <laughs> I should have spat shut down, innit? I should have spat shut down. No. <laughs> um, but about the lockdown, yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> stay in your yard, can't go to the shop, can't drive in the car, got cold to the rave, can't go to the shop. Better go for the bop, get, better go for the one hour walk on the road. <laughs> 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 That made me do an a cappella. It's good. No. Hey, AJ, what's, uh, what number do you want? 131. Uh, 21. 21. 21. Okay. 21. Which celebrity chef do you embody in the kitchen? Nigella Lawson. Ooh. You get Top sexy team. with the food. <laughs> MLS adverts only in my kitchen, you get me? <laughs> Three good smartphones out to ring letters. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so Asim, 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 number. Uh, four. Four, let's go. Number four, I've got you. What are you? Oh, this is a good one. What are your top three Netflix series to binge watch? Uh, yeah. You know what? I watched that Tiger King the other day. That is wild. That's lit. That yeah, is that's King wild. I binged that. And I, you know, I've never seen a documentary where every single person in the documentary has no redeeming qualities. Every single person in that documentary is a villain. <laughs> the woman, I thought, I thought, oh yeah, she's, you know, and then all that shit. No spoilers, but anyway, watch it. That, um, Tiger King. Um, I'm watching this, sick show right now it's called kingdom it's on netflix it's a korean 
um, show. It's set in the old days, but it's about like olden days, but it's set in as during a zombie apocalypse. Man. And the king, the king, basically, he's a zombie, but they're trying to hide it from everyone. It's a little bit like Boris, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they're trying to hide that he's a zombie. So then they're like, no, no, he's ill, he's ill. But really, they keep him caged up, brother, and they feed him people. Bro, it's sick. Watch it. Kingdom, Netflix, and then what else? Uh, I've been watching a lot of Curb Your Enthusiasm, man, which is I yeah. just love Larry David. So yeah, I'd say those are my three. I've, I literally, like, after watching Tiger King, I feel like it's, uh, uh, during, during co- this, the whole coronavirus, I was obsessed with saying, coronavirus! Coronavirus! And then, and then yeah. <laughs> but now I just find myself walking through the house and I'm just like, I refuse to wear a suit. I've had some. <laughs> and now, I'm not holding any no damn tigers. I'm on that big <laughs> jar. Bro, that is sick. That was spot on. <laughs> I like it when he goes, that fucking Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. I swear, to God, I, on her. I swear to God, if I don't get my sunset burger, I'm going to have that bitch Carol Baskin's head in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was on point. Yeah, but I can see you've been watching that. You've been putting the work that. into that school. Yeah, bro, that was hard. What number? Yeah. Um, what number am I going for? 19. Number 19. Okay. Uh, wow. I mean, big topic right now. Which TikTok wow. dance have you mastered since self isolation? <laughs> none, wow. none of them. Not one of them. <laughs> you ain't doing break two C slide now. No, I didn't. That means you've been doing it. Still. <laughs> Bro, on, on my, hey, I swear on everything I love, I've never even opened the app of TikTok once. I don't even have it. I've never downloaded it. Nothing. Too old for that. Shit, man. That's a young I, man's thing. Oh, let me. I just pick up. My I downloaded it. it. I looked through. I was like, oh no, this is it. <laughs> I had to do it. Still, I'm not. I've seen some funny things on TikTok. Like, but it's not for me. You lads are way cooler than me. I, 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 I'm, I'm already on that. Show. I'm already trying the dances. One hundred percent. <laughs> that, well, that, that, that's got Roman Kemp stuffed all over it. It's a little bit cheesy. I'm scared that when I go back to the rave, it's going to be everyone doing TikTok dances in there. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> Change the way how people listen to the radio. All, all the songs they want to hear are just songs they hear on TikTok. <laughs> true. Next, true. Man, um, right. AJ, pick a number. 14. 14. Thierry Henry. Lovely. Okay. Uh, Who? You're Tottenham, <laughs> is he? Tottenham. Who would, be, who would be the worst person to be in isolation with? Who would be the worst person? Uh, the worst person. All right, listen there. Uh, I love him to death, yeah? He's my re- blood relative, but Zoo, he's so flipping loud, bro. I could not be in love with him. He is so loud, bro. He'd do my head in, I swear to God. The thing is, though, he's a banging chef. So the food would be on yeah. 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 But, but when you're not eating, it's going to be long, arguing. And he's big as well, punch me up as well, so it's just long. It's just long. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Really sorry, man. I'm practicing. Animalize. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Every five minutes. <laughs> long, it's long, it's long. Uh, Animalize, it should be a, a sa- hand sanitize. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave. I'll leave. <laughs> hey, you couldn't resist, you couldn't resist. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Actually, I'll pick a number. Uh, all right, number for um, you. Oh, sorry. Go on, go on. Oh, Ash, sorry, go on. I've got to pick a number for you, yeah? Um, yeah. 31. Did you say 31? That's it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, one hope for when this is all over. The knowledge that I will still be able to get my pita bread hummus and dip, 100%. That is, that is yeah. still the most underrated thing on the menu. That is still what I've been craving. I get that all the time. I need, I need, I need the Perry Drizzle still, by the way. Yeah, Perry Drizzle's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all over, but like, you've got to make sure that the Perry Drizzle is complete, Perry Drizzle completely covering the hummus. And then, Run, you've got to go no, right. No, 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 no. You get the hole in the middle of the hummus. Oh! All right, come Ooh, on. Okay, okay. I can kick you, man. You dig a hole. Dig a hole. In the hole. In the middle, you put the peri in, it just about fits to the very top. You get me? And then when you use the little strips of pita bread, you can get half hummus, half... Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now, was like, He wasn't lying. Good, when we were talking about those m and adverts, he wasn't lying, bro. He was the Nigella thing. I get so he, was de- he was definitely in the last, on their last day doing that platter. And I know. This food thing's a serious thing, bro. Right, that's it. Next number. Two. Two, Two, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 
if you had to self-isolate with someone around this table, who would it be and why? You know what? It'll probably be you, Roman. You know why? Because I, I, I'd want you to, because I like your voice and you can do it. Yeah. I would want you just to n like, narrate my voice, not my life. Like, Asin's going for a shit. All right, you know, on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just narrate my whole life. Asin's going for a wank. No, not that. But, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's, his, that's his fourth one of the day. <laughs> go blind, see? Like, you know what I mean? And like, you know, you could, I don't know, you're, you're an entertaining guy. You know what I mean? You keep things going, you know what oh, I mean? I, 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 yeah, you could just narrate my whole But at the same time, Ashley could be taking sick pictures of me. AJ could just be spitting bars for me, you know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> either one, bro. But yeah, probably Roman, probably you, bro. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, right. Uh, AJ, pick a number. All right, cool. Uh, 30. Wait, do you have a Brian in the back from Family Guy? Was that a Brian? Who <laughs> <Yeah>. I'm Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <sleepy. laughs> yeah. course, why is he yeah. why is he dead though he's got the eyes is that is, the, is he has he got come on man it's cause we only do designer in here right? oh it's cause yeah. of course it is of course on, it is guy. of course <laughs> it is come on let me, let me get back to my number man yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. And, um, best celebrity insta live or live stream you've seen since self isolate uh skepta yesterday <laughs> you not see that? Anyone oh, see that? Oh, I missed that. that. I missed cold. that. Oh, yeah, I missed that. How did you miss that? That was cold. That he was said cold. he was having a, a sound clash with Jammer. <laughs> that was hilarious, bro. Uh, he tweeted Jammer like, oh, you was meant to bring your, your other record box, not the IB for one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at one point, Skep, Skep played one tune and Jammer's thing started freezing like this. Jammer's <laughs> <laughs> thing couldn't handle it. <laughs> uh, that's funny, bro. That's the next number. Ten. Ten. All right, we I've gone to. Oh, give us a crib style tour. Oh, why would this? Be not... <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you one corner of the room, the best corner, the best corner. Go on. Obviously, right here. Wow. You get me. <laughs> Is it a competition? Nice. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> I can do. I can do that as well. Come, let's all do that. Is that what we're doing? Oh, the presentation, no, the presentation was oh, oh, yeah. serious. Come, come, come. Yo, let me slide back. Let me slide back. Let me slide back. Let me slide back. This is a serious <laughs> shoe collection here. You know? All right, hold on, hold on. Come, go, come. Let's, let's all go do it. Shoe for shoe. Let's, let's go shoe for shoe. All right, shoe for shoe. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, let me turn the lights on. <laughs> That's, That's, my, I got That's not what you don't want to do. Oh, see my God. Gonna... I thought, I, I thought, honestly, I thought my collection of shoes was, was decent enough, but that is. I've got more stashed everywhere. I've got this all over the yard. It's a problem, isn't it? There we it's, go. It's an addiction. Jeez! Oh, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. Hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. What are you telling me? What? Oh, are you dumb? All right, what about, about that, that boys? Boys, what about that? Oh, they're hard, yeah, they're hard. You mean this, you mean, you mean this crap? You mean this crap? Oh, you got the same crap? All right. Neck, mate. I got mad crepes in here, bro. We're not even getting to look. Let me just break one up. You. I'll break one what up. This one. What about this one? <laughs> yeah, I got those actually. I actually got those. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh yeah, they're hard. Oh, they Gee, look oh, at the no. soles as well. Bruh. You see that? Velour, velour. Bruv. Cozy yeah, boys. Hard. I can't even. I can't even start, man. I got. I need to go. I need to get in deep with all this. I said, what's that painting in the background of yours? Oh, this is, I went on that uh, portrait artist of the year thing. You know, that's where they oh, paint God, you. That's sick. Yeah. It don't really look like me, but you know, it's all right. Um, <laughs> portrait artist yeah. of the year, they don't look like you. But no, we should, not, we, should not, we should not get into it too much, because it won't, will never end, innit? We'll never end. Never end. <laughs> never end. That, was, that was one of my favourite parts of this, because I just sat... Like, I just sat back to, and let that happen. It was like the weirdest thing. It was like, it was like kids, you know, you know what, like when you get your birthday present. Show and tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that. Yeah, that's, it gets dangerous, especially with boys, man. We're bad with that. I'll be there all day. But yeah, it's good. But you know what? That's a good shout for a little Insta Live. Go uh, have a little clash, a little crep clash. You know what I mean? Crep for crep. That's quite hard, actually. Crep for crep. Crep right. for crep. Yeah. yeah. And then people in the Ashford, Ashford get smoked. Like, I will, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I've got um, one. AJ, one yeah. I'm holding on to you. Huh? You have to pick me a number, AJ. I have to pick your number. What are we not? Uh, 18. 18. 18. Oh, 
Team Carol or Team Joe Exotic? Um, Ooh, boy, come on. No, that's you. I, like, that's towards you. the end of it, I'm going to go for Team Carol. Because if she, is a, if she is a Stone Cold Killer, then she's played it cool. I mean, what Stone Cold Killer do you know that answers like a video call going, hello, are you cool cats and kids? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know, you, know what I, you, know what I, no you know what I knew? She was definitely a killer, yeah? When she said, they're saying I killed my husband, she's like, that's just... Ridiculous. I was like, nah, you're definitely a killer. <laughs> she's killer. She's a like, killer. Nah, you're definitely a killer. But also, like, you see, you see Prime Carol, you see her, she was a buff thing. You see the picture yeah, of her yeah, back yeah. in the day? Yeah, she was. And like, she, she was. was just one of them, you know, them buff chicks who will just ruin your life. Like, I, you <laughs> know what I mean? Just destroy everything you have, will kill you. I'd go Joe, but yeah, Carol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got to be, it's got to be to you, Joe, man. Who's that? Do you know what? He's entertaining. He's funny, thing? man. What's that guy's name? The the fat guy that's on the the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Josh. I don't I don't know. He was a legend though. He was a yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was a snitch. He was a yeah. proper little snitch. He's like going around just little jet ski. Little <laughs> say, informing on everyone on the jet ski. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's telling on people. <laughs> that was a wild documentary. Uh, one, please. Number one, Asim. Your question is: since lockdown. Whose DMs have you slipped in? Oh, you yes. Know who's DM? You know whose DM oh, I actually yeah. slipped in? Uh, now I'm isolating with my with my girlfriend in it, so I mean I'm you know I mean I'm not I'm not saying that if I if I wasn't I would be any different. <laughs> but <laughs> so no, um, I actually slipped into Sky's DMs because I tried to cancel my BT Sports subscription and I couldn't get through to them. Right. Two hour wait. So then I was like, what do I need BT Sport for? It's like fifty quid or whatever it was a month. I was like that. So I slid into their DMs and they sorted it out for me. So. Very good. Uh, very, bo- very boring, but you know, that's it. Fair. Uh, Ash, Ash, pick your next number. 29. Better baby, 29. <laughs> okay. What's the biggest act of kindness you've seen in real life or online since all of this started? I guess, what's your favourite act of kindness that you've seen? Mm, I rated when, <clears throat> before everything went into lockdown and all that, the restaurants started giving people from the NHS free food and stuff like that. I thought that was, that was a proper thing. For them to be able to embrace that, because I thought they're going through a lot of struggle right now, isn't it? It's a bad, mad, strenuous time for them. So, for people to and for corporations to free up stuff for them, I thought, yeah, you got you look panned up. That was sick. That was nice. Yeah, right, was AJ, sick. your number. My number three. Three. Um, if you had to give a nationwide uh, public service announcement, what would you say? I'll say. I'll probably start off by doing a stumbag one and saying, yeah, stream rain right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, no, nah, I'll say, I'll probably say, ah, oh, every day, 8 p.m., lock into my Insta Live and we're going to get things cracking, you get me? That, then the whole nation's going to be watching my Insta Live. That's going to be <laughs> <laughs> I'll say all of you invited. I need all opinions. I need, I need the, the, the lads who go down the pub. I need the, the, the soccer mums. I need the hipsters. I need everything. I need everyone in there. You get me? I need a man them on the road in, in, in that. You get me? In the tea and that. I need all of them. Like, <laughs> Look down in the tea. Trust me. As you know, it was what? I wanted to say as well, like, you know, I shaved my ponytail off. Yeah, I'm actually going to donate it. I'm, I'm, I'm auctioning it off a charity. I know it's butters. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to plug that. I'm going to donate the money to help the NHS. So we're going to do something like that as well. I'm going to frame it Great. with, like, a signed to body picture. And just, because I thought might as well, innit? I mean, it's a disgusting, greasy little rat tail, but hopefully I'll get a little bit of teeth in it. No, really. Hundred percent. Um, Asim, pick pick me a number just on here. Six. Six. Oh, try double up. Six. Yeah, double up. What is your What is your favourite isolation meal? Um, cheese. But well, you said a bit hummus. Uh, it's, 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 just, it's just pure crisps. Like it's it, honestly, I, I can't it's explain the amount, the amount the amount of crisps I've eaten during this whole thing. I've gone through. I mean, sensations. The copious amounts of salt and vinegar crisps. Uh, I, I don't normally like kettle chips, but I destroyed two two bags straight. Like, uh, <laughs> hey, flaming hot Cheetos are the ones, man. Yeah, I know. But and ever since, do you know what? Ever since that lad nearly died from flaming hot Cheetos, I've kind of been a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, it's mad. Okay. All right, lads. Well, listen. Stay safe, everyone. Stay inside. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, Stay safe. If you're going out, your hands. Twenty seconds at least. You get me. Yeah, yeah. Twenty seconds. Two meters. If I see you out there, I'm snitching. 
If, you go, <laughs> if you're on your third run, I am snitching like that fat rear from uh, Tiger King on his jet ski. I will snitch <laughs> on you. I'll snitch on your mum. I will snitch on your dad. <laughs> Social distancing, you. <laughs> All right, see you later. Let's yeah, I'm about to go for my run. See you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not putting trousers on. I don't give a. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Boxer gang, the whole time.